hey welcome back to my channel guys and today in this video we are going to create one more resource in our student management application which is the standard and because this resource is going to be very small or rather less complicated in nature what we will do is we will try not to have an entire crud screen for example we will not have a create form on a different page and an edit form on a different page but rather utilize the models which are available with filament so that the editing experience can be simplified so without wasting much time let's get started all right so in my terminal the first thing that i will do is create a model and all the necessary files for that particular model so php artisan make model I can't create a model called class because it's a reserved PHP keyword. So I'm using standard. Okay, I have all these files in place. Let me first tackle the migration. I'll close everything else. In here, we will keep this very simple string name has to be unique I can't have two classes with the same name and unsigned integer class number maybe all right these are the only two fields that I will require in this resource rather in this model so we should now open the model Let me use the plugin to understand the new migrations and now I will have these autocompletes in place. Okay, this is done. Where's my factory? Standard factory. Okay, name this faker mm, word for now. I can do a better one, but let's keep this simple for now and I'll maybe you know create a separate video we where we do this in a much more elegant way but yeah this will give me the data some random data okay let's see what else do we have inside the database cedars maybe what I will do is I'll run a for loop dollar I equals one dollar i less than equal to 10 and right what do we do data equals collect let me do that okay and data push name let's just do standard um i do get confused with the concatenation between javascript and php so yeah sorry about that um class name that will be dollar i and then we will do standard factory create many data so here's my database so far I don't have anything I'll run my migrations again okay how do we run okay it's call right so this call we have standard cedar class I think that should work no column class name in field list okay so that's my code which is failing class number should work now yes it does and I have this so standard 1 to 10 class number and numerical and that's taken care of 
Now, if you remember from my previous videos, we now require a resource for our filament thing. So what we will do is PHP artisan make. Um, what was that filament? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Let me find that. I'm trying not to go into the um, documentation, but rather find out from here. So make filament resource. So we'll do make filament resource and it will be standard with that done let's go inside here so yes it's in place and that would mean if i refresh okay i have refreshed the database so my login will not work let me quickly do that and we get the error again regarding the policies why don't we go into that file and return true is something which i will for now add over here with that done if i refresh it's over here and i see the table but obviously it will not show me the current name because inside the table i need to do text column make name okay and i'll just class number duplicate that this is done fair enough so now you can see you know, it, it is going to those particular pages and i'm able to create them if i add text column text input rather yeah make and that will be name again required max length is what maybe 10 no, then that, that should be enough and then text input make class number it will be numeric okay let me first add required and then numeric max value can be for now 10 with this in place now i should be able to edit as well as create a new standard and do things like we were doing with our students case however this is where the interesting part starts i said right the fill, the resource which you feel is very straightforward like you don't need too much um i would say you know, screens and forms on a different page to manage it because you know, there are two fields only so in that in these kind of resources what you can do is simplify everything and i'll show you how easy it is what i will do is go over here so but these are the get pages uh, being listed over here so i have a create and an edit i'll just comment it out okay hold on and i'll refresh if i now click edit can you see a model pop-up is coming up and that's the beauty you want to add you have a model pop-up you want to edit you have a model pop-up and everything is taken care of believe me these kind of things could have taken a lot of time if you would want to build it however with filament it is as easy as writing or rather removing two lines of code right so we can actually get rid of these extra routes and even these php files because they no longer have any place in our application so yeah, that is what I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you like it. Give me your feedback in the comments below. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.